as we look ahead to the future, to India tomorrow, how do you see the future? Let's start with you, uh, Parth, in a way. What is for you, where do you see yourself in the business 20 years from now? Well, I think, I think we see ourselves as a, a group that is going to focus on the core economic sectors of the Indian economy. Um, I think as a group, productivity is going to be a big focus for us. Digitization is going to be a big focus for us. And going into more related realms uh, within the economy is going to be a big focus. So I think the, the whole economy is moving towards digital. And even the way c customers consume products is moving towards digital. So how we as JSW are going to transform ourselves to cater to our customers' requirements is going to form the, you know, the next decade and then the future. So e-commerce being a big driving force in a way for even all the products that you have. Absolutely. Because you know, we were speaking before we did this interview about even the reality sector, once associated with you know, uh, uh, how do I pay off someone under the table. Now you're saying with Rera there, things are changing. It's a, you can do clean real estate today. Right? Absolutely. Is, is that something that has given you a sense of assurance that therefore I can do this for the next 10, 20 years? Yes, absolutely. And it, the, seam, the system has become quite seamless. You upload everything on the internet. The officers will respond to you. Even getting the permissions for any new building permissions or anything has become much easier. So it's changing and it gives you a lot of hope. And you, you feel equally hopeful about education? Having worked, you know, actually, as you've said, in slum areas, among underprivileged children, do you really hope that we will have a structure where everyone gets equal opportunity? I think the... Is that the, going to really happen? I think the groundwork is started. I think with the new education policy that was released in 2020, I think that has, has a lot of right things in it. But we have to see how the implementation really happens. I think the problem is that the education as a whole has to evolve. I think the way that we've been taught for so many years is not relevant in today's world. Children need to learn how to think, how to pivot, how to adapt much easier than we had to as children. But is that, does that trouble you when you see the gross inequalities that exist? The kind of schools that you had access to, higher education, and then you work among people who just don't have that. Is that something that haunts you at times? Or has it changed you in any way as a no, person? I think children are children. It doesn't matter from which income bracket they come from. I think all children are very, very hungry to learn. And they just need the right outlets and the right exposure to be able to learn and do something. Uh, yes, there are children who are more fortunate than the others and get that exposure a lot easier. But the idea is, at least what I want to do in the next 20 years is to do my part and provide that exposure to the children who don't have that in their school. So that's where Museum of Solution really comes in. You know, because the reason I'm asking you this is that there is a, you know, there are people who will be watching this and say, look, you know, the rich in India don't do enough, don't give back enough. Do you think that's a fair criticism or do you believe, as we are seeing, people need to remove these stereotypes? Can I, I know this question yeah, yeah, is ahead. to Sangeeta, yeah, but, but, go ahead, but go before ahead. she answers, you know, once my dad was not well, and uh, we were in Breach Candy and we, she, me, my mother and my dad was on a stretcher and we were going down to the operation theatre. So she tells my dad that, you know, we must make a, a hospital in Bombay like Breach Candy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what my dad in, on, the, on the operation theatre, on the stretcher, he says, he told her that, uh, Beta, you should do hospitals in villages, in uh, tertiary towns, right? and not in Bombay. Bombay has many hospitals and there are big guys who, are, who will build hospitals in Bombay, Delhi. You think of the uh, other, other parts of the country. Is, is that what you want to do? I think uh, what, uh, I, will, I, I retract from what you said. Mm. I think, as you said, that rich are uh, unfair in what they are doing. I think we are doing, but it is not enough. We are doing our best, but still it is not enough. 